My name is Graeme Dark, I'm a Senior Lecturer in Medical Oncology and I'm based at the University of Newcastle. It's often thought about oncology, you must be breaking bad news all the time, but actually you have a narrative conversation with your patients. It's an ongoing conversation. So uh, when I see a new patient, they've already had their surgery and they've been told the biopsy result by my colleagues. So for me, there is less explaining bad news to patients, but the patients do return at a later date, sometimes with relapsed disease, and you have to explain it to them then. But for many of these patients, you've explained what you might find on the scan before you've ordered it, and therefore you're managing that future expectation one step ahead all the way. And at that point, the patients have a very established relationship with you. So in fact, breaking bad news doesn't always happen that often, but it also depends on the type of cancer that you treat. If you're treating a cancer for which there are a wide range of treatments available and you can multiply treat that patient, then actually the conversation is more buoyant and more hopeful. If you have a type of cancer for which the next lot of treatments is unlikely to work or there are no further treatments available and maybe the first treatment tried hasn't worked either, then for that patient that news is much more devastating, for example in a pancreatic or upper gastrointestinal system cancer, then actually the interaction can be much more impactful. I think it's important that the patient is given a warning that there is some bad news coming. Uh, so maybe, you know, I've got the scan results, but there are some problems with it, or there are some changes on the scan, or it's not good news. For some patients, they may become so distraught that actually it's not worthwhile continuing with the conversation because they're just so distraught, they're not hearing, uh, and their thoughts are just so muddled. So occasionally you have to diffuse the situation and perhaps suggest they go and have a break and come back later in the clinic or come back the following week. Uh, for others, they may have lots of questions and therefore giving the patient time and opportunity to raise their concerns, uh, verbalise their ideas and address their expectations. I think also what's really important from the clinician's perspective is to make sure you are conveying understanding. Make sure the patient understands what you mean in the terms that you use. So avoid technical terms unless you explain them. Sometimes the patients hear you reading out the scan report, but it's a very techno babble that the patient really doesn't understand. So translate and interpret for them. So I think the most important commodities are honesty, transparency and clarity.